Good morning, boys and girls. It's Tuesday morning. It's Holy Week. And for today's story, we have our last chapter in the book, Easter Love Letters from God. And before we begin that, we will start off with our school prayer. Here we go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Gracious God, thank you for blessing the school with your grace and everlasting love. Guide us to become a community working together to live out our Catholic values. You have showered us with blessings so we may be dedicated Catholic Christians, caring community members, diligent lifelong learners, globally aware, and responsible citizens. O oh Lord, continue to guide us to believe, become, and belong in our St. Lawrence Martyr family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today's chapter in our book is actually the last chapter in this book, and it is called, it's right there, The Super Surprise. So let's see what we have there. Okay, so there are doves flying around, and on this page it says in cursive, Jesus is alive. Okay, keep it right there. And I'll go ahead and read the other page to you. It's really pretty with all the flowers and the doves flying there. Okay, here we go. The Super Surprise. There was something special about the day. The birds that lived in the trees above the quiet cave knew it. Okay, so if you look down here, there's the cave. And you, if you notice the stove, the stone in front of it is rolled away. They knew it when they opened their eyes at that morning and saw the sunrise. The sun peeked out over the horizon and seemed to wink at the world. Pinks and oranges, yellows and reds flooded the sky. Golden rays reached out like fingers toward the cave and twinkled as if they were holding a secret. The birds could feel an early morning whisper, a song gliding through the trees, and now the birds could hear it, a whisper that got louder as it danced along. It was a name, a name carried on the wind, sailing through the leaves, rushing through the grass. The birds perked up and opened their beaks to join the chorus of all creation as every living thing sang the name, the name that is above any other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is alive. There you see right there, okay. The big stone had been moved. The cave was empty. The sun was shining. Jesus, king of the whole world, was alive again. The trees clapped their hands. The flowers danced for joy. The birds flew high over the fields and carried the news, the most wonderful news that the world had ever heard. Jesus is alive. And soon the disciples would know it. Jesus' mother would know it. One day everyone in the whole world would know it. And now you know it too. God's wonderful words to you. You are all children of God by believing in Christ. And here's your final love letter from God. Dear children, can you believe that my son Jesus came back to life? Only the king of the whole world could do that. Jesus is the king of love, the king of hope, and the king of heaven. And he wants to be the king of your life too. Will you let him just whisper, Jesus, I believe in you. Teach me more about how you want me to live. Thank you for showing me what love looks like. Thank you for dying on the cross and for coming back to life, for, for, for forgiving me and showing me the way to heaven. Amen. If you just whispered that prayer, welcome to my family. You are now part of the most wonderful family on earth, and it is wonderful because you just joined it. I love you, God. <laughs>